So the first question come to us is what is the Bible? The Bible is a collection of religious texts. Now many people make mistakes and they refer to the gospel as Bible and this is wrong because the gospel is different than the Bible. The gospel is the revelation of God to uh, our prophet Isa or Jesus, the son of Mary, peace and blessings be upon him. And I will be talking about the Gospels that have been discovered until now when I get to the lecture when I talk about the authenticity of the Bible and the New Testament. But it is a mistake to say that the Gospel is the Bible or the Bible is the Gospel because the Bible are a collection of religious textbooks or scriptures. Many people consider the Bible to be a product of divine inspiration and a report of the relationship between God and humans. The Bible appears in the form of an anthology, a compilation of texts of a variety of forms that are all linked by the belief that they collectively contain the Word of God. These texts include theologically focused historical accounts, hymns, prayers, proverbs, parables, didactic letters, erotica, poetry, and prophecies. And I will be talking about this in details when I get to the Old Testament and when I break down the books in the Old Testament. Because we have different books. We have the Torah is different than the Bible. The Injil is different than the Bible. The Psalms of David, or what we call a Zabur, is different than the Bible. Uh, a Torah, Torah, Gospels, and Zabur, they are a part of the Bible, but they are not the Bible. And I will be explaining about this in a bit. So the Bible is divided to two different parts. The first part is the Old Testament. And the Old Testaments are all the books and the collection of the religious books that they will reveal to the prophets, the Jews, uh, and to the Jews, that they were written before the birth of Jesus Christ. So this is the Old Testament. Now the New Testament are the collection of books that they were written after the birth of Jesus Christ. So we have four Gospels and I will be talking about that. And then we have letters that they were written by, some of them they were written by the disciples of Jesus, or what we call al hawarihim in Arabic, and some of them are written by the establisher of the Christian theology, his name is Paul, and I will be talking about him also in another lecture, inshallah. The definition or the expression of the New Testament differs from one church to another. So for example, for the Armenian churches, such as Catholic, uh, Roman Orthodox, uh, Eastern churches, they believe that the New Testament started when Jesus was born. However, for the Protestant churches, most of them, not all of them, they think or they believe that the New Testament started when Jesus was resurrected after three days after his crucifixion. Because they think that uh, Jesus has established a new era that anyone accept Jesus Christ as a savior for his life, then he is in the New Testament and the Old Testament is no longer has authority or controlling their own life. And I will be talking about this more in details. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to be talking about this in more details when I talk about the salvation and the crucifixion of Jesus. And I will be explaining about the New Testament and the Old Testament and about the sacrifices and all that in show. But right now we're going to be only talking about the authenticity of the Bible and the scriptures.